Are you still tired? If you plan to make tea using dewdrops from the flowers, you must leave at dawn. Where are you? Why are you hiding behind curtains? Are you playing hide and seek? I found you. What are you wearing? I'm not saying you look bad. I don't mind. It's good you found them early. These clothes are yours in either case. When we were at the foot of the mountain, I could tell you liked them. That's why I bought them. Turn around. Lift your arm. I'll help you put your arm through the sleeve. Now the other one. You know how to wear an underskirt. You can put it on yourself. How can you wear a jade pendant when you can't even tie the sash properly? I placed the shirt with the rest of your clothes. Where did it go? All right. I'll stop looking for it. What color do you like? Choose whichever one you want. A sash woven from the leaves of a weeping willow tree. Do you like it? Done. Go ahead. Look at yourself in the mirror. The emerald skirt matches the willow green sash. It's nice. It looks good on you. The patterns on the underskirt look wrong? It's because you're not wearing it right. Take it off first. <clears throat> the strings on your shirt and underskirt are in a dead knot. Of course they can't be untied. Don't use brute force. Think about it first. Do your fingers hurt? The more you pull, the tighter it gets. I'll help you untie it. Are you trying to help, or are you making things worse? 
If you keep pulling it like that, we'll have no choice but to cut it. It doesn't matter if it gets ruined. We can buy a new one. All right, all right. You don't want a new one. You want this one. Is using spiritual power cheating? This is sophistry. You should put on mortal clothing as if you were a mortal. In that case, how do you want to wear it? Wait, that's not how you put on an outer garment. You are supposed to be wearing it, not wearing it with me. Are you trying to wrap me up in it as well? The clothes aren't big enough. Come here. You can move a bit more. Now, it's good enough. What you're touching are my eyebrows. If you go further down, you'll find my eyes, then my nose. Any more, and... <laughs> Do you know where your hands are right now? You're being too bold. Who taught you this? You don't often read books, yet you've certainly read a lot of Hobbin. My hand is right here. It's not a handshake, but a pinky promise. You mean it symbolizes an oath in the mortal world? Our promise is that we'll always be together, starting today. And once I make a promise to you, I won't break it. The outer garment on your head is in the way. I'll teach you how to properly dress yourself again later. <laughs> <laughs> 